Oh, it's a figgin! Oh my god, dude, it's a giant! Oh my god! This place gives me the heebie jeebies a little bit. I saw a gator run like a 4 4 40 across the green. That thing was hauling, dude. That thing was just flying. Right back down. We're gonna make this happen, dude, I'm telling you. 100%. I think it is. We saw hands down the biggest alligator I've ever dude, seen. Dude, that was a huge gator. I've got a personal vendetta on this gator. The big gator, he's freaking huge. I got him, I got him, I got him. Shooting! Yeah, baby, we're on! R.I.P. Chubbs. This one's for you, buddy. Dude, I'm sh freaking shaking like crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We are finally at our destination and I've got to get a little bit of a backdrop of this place because it's so cool. This place has been in like tons of movies, Ben Affleck movies, the ending scene of The Town was filmed here, The Intervention, uh, John Cena filmed a reality show down here. This place was established in the late 1700s as a massive plantation. It's like four or 5,000 acres and it was rice and it was mostly cotton. And a lot of the buildings on this property are literally like a couple hundred years old and there's a lot of rich deep history here on this place how we got access to it is that it's a friend of a friend uh, that i know and i asked if i could fish out here and kind of built a friendship with him that way well lo and behold he's got a massive problem with alligators out here they've had encounters with some small kids and he was begging to get some removed so uh, he called me up and here we are jay and kendall are on their way down as well we got four days to get two alligator tags filled and I have a feeling that this one's going to be pretty fun. We must be going back. Yeah, so we've we kind of did some scouting last night. How many gators do you think we saw? 20? I'm not going to lie. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. It's a uh, abandoned Boy Scouts camp. If I saw a little girl with long hair and a white gown over her, the hair over her face in that corner, Y'all would never see me again. Ooh, is that a gator right there? Look at all of the mosquito larva. And a turtle in the drain. You were saying what? <laughs> <laughs> Drew, how much would I have to pay you to let this thing bite your nipple? That's really bright, guys. Yeah, but does that road go there? Kendall, how do you turn these things on? I don't know what it is about this pond, but it freaks me out. That looks like a wide set eyeball. Mm, mm. Eight thirteen, boys. Oh yeah. Season Welcome. is in. Welcome to Gator season. <laughs> Don't break his other arm. Oh, no, I only got one. down to this real quick all right because so, i know this is a new setup yes it is brand, brand new setup uh hoyt torix 2970 now y'all lee was not supposed to shoot i had this fully set up for me um so i went dialed it in perfect i rigged it up with ams bow fishing gear so this is a gator kit from them i've sighted the bow in for 12 yards okay dead money top pin 12 yards yep so the closer he is the lower it's gonna shoot here, take that since so you got two. But the hands. bow itself, I mean, this is brand new from Hoyt. Brand new from Hoyt. They sent us this one for this gator hunt. And it's like, it's a really affordable price point. We get a lot of messages of people like, what's a good entry level bow or what's a good affordable bow? Hoyt just came out with this and it's like awesome price range. Like, I can't believe this is like a $500 bow. Yeah, she's great. What dude. we're doing with it is we're going to set it up when we're done here. We're going to set this up for whitetails and we're going to actually give it to one of you guys. We've done this before in the past. We're gonna do it again. So if you leave a comment on this video, we're going to choose a random winner and we're gonna give it away on our Instagram in two or three weeks. We'll give we'll give more details in the description, but brand new Hoyt Torix. 
hopefully with a couple 10 plus foot gators under its belt y'all ready yeah yeah i think there's a gator like less than 100 yards here to the right one of the big ones yeah two more up there i don't hopefully yeah. they, hopefully they all act like that I hope, I hope there's no snakes in these trees. I was thinking about a watch man. Pretty good driving right there. Yeah. Give her hell, Kendall. Give her hell. 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 Seven. Getting better. Yep. Just the one that was back there was a bigger one. Thinking that we leave this boat here and check the redfish pond. If we don't have luck there, we can come here first thing in the morning. A lot of water on the redfish pond. Yeah. All right. I curse it. You never bring a tape measure before you kill the gator. It's three in the morning, but we're not giving up. We're gonna launch this boat. And if it takes till dawn, we're getting it done. Jay and I crept out here earlier and we went down this side of the bank. I think this is that alligator, if you can see it up there. It's probably like nine foot. And then we saw like three more around the corner that are big. So like we're we're finally in like the prime time what we've been looking for. We've been scouting like crazy and we finally found like the size gators we've been looking for. Dude, it's about to go down. It's about to get real. I'm freaking nervous. Yeah, he moved. He moved a fair fairly good bit around that corner. Stay with the bubbles right there. They ain't gonna last long. Yeah. Hit the rod. He stops, he stops. I got him. I got him. All right, I'm off. I'm off. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God, dude, it's giant. Oh my God. Dude, that was a huge gator. I hooked him in the face. Oh, that was disappointing. It's gotta be like 5 a.m. Get some sleep, give it a whirl tomorrow. Yeah, that's him. You think so? Yeah, yeah. That's 100% him. I think it is too. So, day two, we spent all night last night. I think we got done around 4.30 or 5 in the morning. Got a little bit of sleep. Came over this morning, saw the big gator, and he's freaking huge. And so the plan today was to get the sun high. And the way we found him last night was, was we he saw bubbles. Under. Did he? Yeah. So I think that we're gonna ease around, see if we can't get eyes on him, find the bubbles in the daytime, and just throw hooks and throw hooks and try and get into him. But he's a big, big gator. Also, I've named this alligator Chubbs after my boy out of Happy Gilmore. R.I.P. Chubbs. This one's for you, buddy. Keep your eyes on the bubbles because they disappear super quick. All right, Kendall. Yeah, y'all about to get him right here. I got him, got I got him. him, I got him, I got him. All right, take your time now. Get the boat, Kendall. Just get the boat. Anywhere in the body, anywhere you get a shot. Lee, if you feel him coming up, you need to let He's Kendall know. Up. He's coming up, he's coming up. Just, just draw, just draw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right shoot, him. Shoot, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, baby, we're on. Watch, watch, watch the line, watch the line. 
All right, here we go, here we go. We're gonna pop the buoy, y'all. Good shot. Good shot. Okay. Is the, buoy, is the buoy in them? No, the in them? Yeah. Yeah, the air is in it. You sure? Yeah. Dude, I'm someone, so jacked someone up. Someone take the rod, I'll get the grapple hook. Okay, you got that? Dude, I'm sh freaking shaking Dude, like crazy. So oh my gosh. Up. Where do you think his head is at? That's his tail right there. See it in the grass? And I should be able to hit him right here. Shit, it's somewhere down there for sure. Unless he's back the other way. Is your GoPro on? Hang on. Yeah, is your GoPro on? Yes. You're gonna have, you're gonna snag him out there in just a second. And this one go down the roof. I got him that time. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, there's his head, there's his head. Is he a big one? He's like eight. He's all wrapped up. Yeah, he is. All right, get ready. There's his head right there, right there. Got to have it up more than that. It's done! Oh, yeah, yeah, baby! Yeah! Woo! Yes, sir! Yeah! Woo! Oh! Dude. <laughs> that was a cluster. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> he ain't no monster, but he'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right back in the tail. Carefully. It went in pretty good. Where's the, uh, where's the tape at? That's the first thing we want to do. All right, we'll start. We just need to have the tape. All right, be careful of that. Uh, he, he's out. Sure. I know, I'm just saying, be careful of that arrow. <laughs> Down. <laughs> we got them, boys. We got a cluster, oh. but we got them. Little chubs. I don't know if this is chubs or not. Yeah, it might be one of the other ones. Hey, Hold on. Yeah. I don't know if that's old chubs, but it might be his brother. See if there's a mark on his face. That's what that's I was just actually was... going to look for. I didn't see I, anything. I thought I did see it. He's I got, he's got a nick in his face right here. That's it right there. Is that it? The nick? No, that's what old. about right there on this side? That skint mark. Could be. That right there is old. It's not Chubbs. I don't think that's Chubbs. Uh-uh. Well, we got one more tack for Chubbs. We ain't done. <laughs> Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Nice. Nice. Perfect eating size, too, though. That's good. So y'all like for real salt over there? 100%. It's him. It's Chubbs? It's him. Alright. We gotta rig him? another arrow. Okay. Let's get him in the truck. I got ice bags we'll throw on him. We're closing this episode because we're going after Chubbs right now. If you want to see that episode, if it goes down, it's coming in right after this. Giving away this brand new Hoyt Torx bow to a comment in this video and the next one. Giving away on our Instagram. Also giving away that bass boat. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, leave us a comment, and uh, let's go get jobs, guys. <laughs> so re rig the, uh, re -rig the bow, and pretty much ready to go, right? Alright, so there. The left side black hole. He's in that black hole. Yep, underneath the tree limbs. Okay. He just he went down. down. Y'all positive that was him? That was pretty big, big one. I would still ease over to where you saw him and see if something takes off. I think he stopped right here. I think he stopped right here. Nope. Just drag, just drag, right. just drag. Just drag it to your right. Nope. To the right to that. Got him, got him, yep. Right. Drag, drag, watch the drag. Let me quick, man. Get the boat ready. Get on up here. Get, get come, come up just hit him. Is that him? He just came up on the bank, y'all. 
What? He just, yeah. he's all the way to the bank. His head just came up. That doesn't sound good. That's dumb, boy. That's a freaking dumb. You can gang on him. I got so much grass like wrapped up in this line. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, he's gonna stay right there. Hold on, get this grab hook on it. Throw it, Lee. Hold on. He's sitting Throw right it, there. dude. Yep. Yep, that should do it right that there. That should hit him. He's right here, dude. Draw the bow. He's right here. Draw the bow. Shoot him. No, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Get the gun. Get the gun. I, I, I can't just, get the gun. Just get shoot the gun, him. dude. I got him. Get, get, I'm telling you, get the gun. Jeez, dude. Come on, come on, come on. He hit, yeah, he hit the uh, Yeah, I don't know how good that, that might have got him good. <laughs> Is that Chubbs? Come here and hit him again, dude. That thing's loud. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Keep filming. Hit him right there. <laughs> oh, he's dead now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going chubs, baby. <laughs> oh, gee. That's a good gator, dude. Woo! That was definitely the one. That I mean, had to be. Yeah. That had to be the one we were seeing. Holy smokes. <laughs> He came straight up with that. Dude, you're about to shoot him with the bow right here. I was like, get the gun! Shoot him, I don't care. Uh, do you want the guys don't swamp quick? people. They do it like by themselves. Yeah, screw that. Like, can we, uh, can we tape shaking. this guy or what? Uh, yeah. Where? Whoa! Oh, dude, that's why I'm... God dang. <laughs> then probably you shouldn't grab him. I did, I, I did not put here. my hand in there. Here you go. Y'all gonna make the one arm man tape Jay, you wanna cool. do that? Yeah, sure. I'll just tape him up. Someone get him, dude. He's freaking me out. Uh, I think he's still alive. A, a guy that's not tape, 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 missing tape, one tape, on. tape, 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 tape. And get another bullet in him. Nah, they got him right here. That thing almost bit my hand off, guys. For real. I think it would have been a really That's about the same thing as did. Told you. Let's um let's get them loaded up before the storm rolls. Let's in. load them up, get them packed with ice. I kind of want to hang them up, get pictures, but what's coming in this episode is the catch and cook. So that's actually kind of perfect that it went down that fast because now we can jump right into catch and cook and do some fried gator tail. Mm -hmm. Damn. Sound like a plan? All right, let's get them loaded. Here you go. El Fryer. Whew. About to get in this catch and cook. Plan is we're gonna take both of these to a processor in town, but we're pretty hungry. The boys are hungry. We've worked up an appetite, and we're going to cut off some of the tail meat, do some fried gator bites tonight. Got the fryer. Probably gonna just put it on the tailgate and get to cleaning. Just clean out one of the sides of the uh, the tater the, the tails, one of the gator tails and uh, get some good slabs out of that. But pack everything on ice, just cover them in ice, get them to the processor in the morning, and they're gonna do the rest of it for us. So that's the plan, I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty excited to try this. How many I've, YouTube videos have you watched to, a to lot. clean these things? I've never cleaned a gator, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of how to clean gators. So let's just keep pretending like we know what we're doing here. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I'm just here to drink beer and watch. First things first, we don't have any like bleach. But I do know these gators have a lot of bacteria, so we're just gonna kind of give it a little sud down. So what essentially what I'm gonna do is when you skin these gators, you start on the leg, you come all the way up here, and you work just below this top plate right here. I don't know what they call it. There's a scientific name for it, but we're going to go all the way down, basically skin it out on the side, fold it down and cut out some of these tail tenderloins, if you want to call them that. That's what you would call it, right? Yep. Is that fair? So I'm going to start on the leg and go up. And then when they get to the processor and the taxidermist, they can pr pretty much just pick up right where we left off and 
go to the rest on the skidding part. Like butter, baby. Now that we've gotten all that done, here's the plan. We have the other gator covered in ice. We got like 50 bags of ice in Kendall's truck. It's covered. And so I'm gonna put this guy in here as well, get him covered. And the plan is first thing in the morning to drive to the processor, get these dropped off. Get my uh, my landowner here that let us come out and do this. Some sweet uh, items, memorabilia items, some fashion items. And uh, we'll get the skull. You're gonna do the skull, right? Skull mount? Oh, yeah. Okay, 100%. cool. Well, we got our meat. Let's go get in the kitchen. Let's fry some of this up, dude. I'm actually really excited about this. Just a mix of fish fries like that, classic fries. We're going to put up an egg batter mixed with uh, milk, toss it in that, roll it in that, stick it in a fryer, pop it in our mouth, and give it a taste test, see what happens. Yeah, buddy. I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna spill any more hot oil on my legs. Yeah, and you thought you needed more breading? You thought you needed Kendall, three packs of breading. Kendall, shut up. You're embarrassing me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. That's a rig and spray on it. Now let's do the rest. Hot sauce is a necessity for any gator, fish, eggs, steak. Pretty much Just anything about anything. Eat. Steak? What? Hot sauce on a steak? Uh, have you never had hot sauce on Whatever, steak? dude. Whatever, bro. Man, do you still work at uh, like three dollar or something? I see him do that in like the back of like really fast awesome. food restaurants every now and then. Huh? I do, yeah. I, every every summer, I had a job working in a restaurant. You haven't been to Little Ozzy yet. That... Check it out on <laughs> Howell Mill and North Side. <laughs> I also, We're more than that. I also used to work at KFC. Nobody knows that. Woo! All right, Thanks. Buffalo original. I don't want to have a spicy taste in my mouth to go original. So I'm gonna go original and then spicy. That's where it's at. That's all I gotta say. I think that you're a little biased. Um, well, I, I was the one that had that idea, so yeah, I was probably a little biased, but that's where it's at. Would you all like to cleanse your palates with some sweet kale salad? Yeah, this is really good. Ooh. This is really good. It's that... It's like it's more hearty than like a chicken nugget. Like it lasts longer. It has a it makes little, no sense. It's got a little bit of an oyster taste to it to me. I mean, it's, it's not like Kindle versus me, but I'm curious to hear, yeah, which one? Which one's your favorite? I'm going Buffalo for the first time. For the first time ever. That's what it is. That's pretty solid. That's really good. Original? Yeah. I mean, I could, I could. Especially if you had some ranch, dude. I love that one's more tender for some reason. Maybe it's just a piece I got. It's literally the same batch. One just has buffalo, one doesn't. Well, maybe one was cooked longer than the other. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe. Mama's wrong again. <laughs> Dude, I'm all about that. Oh uh, man. All about it. Yeah. All in all. A little chewy, but. It's pretty freaking good. It's good. It's really good. Oh mm, yeah. Buffalo for the win. Buffalo's the way to go. Have that be known. If you're doing gator bites at home, fry them, toss them in some, what is it, Texas Pete? Louisiana. Recapping, we spent three days down here. We're leaving tomorrow. 
discovered this crazy lake that's literally loaded with red, with redfish. We have crazy drum footage, just like schools of 80 redfish. That was a crazy surprise. We spent all night last night chasing gators and got maybe an hour of sleep last night back at it this morning. And it happened quick today. Yeah. I mean, we jumped from one to the next. We got the first one and then went back after Chubbs. I think this is Chubbs, by the way. If Chubbs were to be a taste, this is what I kind of imagined him tasting yeah. like. Yeah. Giving away the bow. Be sure to leave a comment under that. Also giving away the boat. Be sure to sub. We're going to leave the link in the video. The, the Dude, I'm the worst at saying that. We're going to leave the link in the description of this video on how to win that boat. <laughs> Why don't we let Kendall wrap this episode for Close us? Close it out, Kendall. Bring it home. <laughs> You've got to go and gator hunt because this is absolutely stupid. <laughs> 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 Worst closing ever, but I love it. Yeah. We're out of here. <laughs>